Hi, nutty buddies. Welcome back to my channel. I am here. Uh, I have been testing this uh, power supply, power bank uh, that I was sent uh, by a company to do a review on. And just so happens that we didn't get that much solar here, uh, that much energy into my solar panels today. Uh, it was very overcast. So um, my solar was at 12.1 volts and I don't like it to get less than 12 or less than, uh, 12.2 volts. So I charged this up the other day. It was a hundred percent charged and I wouldn't have been able to run my lights tonight in the van to go live. I just ended a live. And so, uh, this was at a hundred percent my live stream was an hour and 30 minutes so in an hour and 30 minutes it went from 100 percent to 86 percent and i also tried to charge up my uh my phones at the same time but i wasn't able to run all of it on this so right now i have my lights charged up and I have these lights right here. It's going to be kind of bright, you guys. I have these lights that I have from Amazon. And it has a USB card. And I have those plugged up. So um, I ran these for an hour. And yeah, I ran them for an hour and 30 minutes on here. And we're at 86%. So I'm happy to just be able to have something else to give me options when it's dark in the van uh when my solar didn't get that much juice in and i just need it back up so this is a good little backup to have just to have uh some lights uh so i'll put the specs in a description box below or up um in the frame of the video but as you can see i have good lighting in the van from this light and like i say i just got through doing a live stream and so yeah it gave me plenty of light so like i said you guys uh this is very small very compact uh love the color just very nifty uh so if you are needing something like this or you like something like this this is easy and lightweight to uh put on a table when you're at the park uh if you go on a picnic or anything like that it has several usb ports uh it has a ac on dc 15 volt and I don't even know what all this stuff means, you guys. But the part I like about it is this little light it has on it. It has a light on there. And then you could press the button and it flashes. And it does that. So if you're on the side of the road and you uh, need to put out a signal or something, you can have a flashlight, an emergency light. So this is something that's neat to have. So I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below. Thank you guys for tuning in and let me know what you think about this little nifty thing. And thanks to the company that sent me this. I needed something like this and I really, really, really appreciate uh, now. I have some backup, y'all. The more, the better. You can't never have too much backup, y'all. So, hey, y'all, I was telling y'all on live that I had a bright idea. And I was like, y'all, tell me not to get no more bright ideas. But I am thinking can make this out of a toilet. It's 
a little too high. If it didn't have, I think if it didn't have that arm on it, it would close. Let's see. Let's see if I can take the arm off of it. And it's like it's some kind of way. Put that toilet seat on there. When I am using it. I'm wondering, y'all. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. If I should make this my toilet seat nobody would ever know nobody would ever know so anyway let me figure this out and see what i'm about to do okay you guys know i am always getting some bright ideas you guys so this is this little thing that i bought today that i'm gonna use as a seat or something but you guys, I was thinking if I put, make this into my toilet and then I can keep toilet paper and stuff over on the side over here. But look y'all, this fits in here. And I think if I take the arms off, if I can get the arm off and then this has a little space in there, I think this thing would close down all the way if I can get this off so I'm about to see if I can get this off y'all I'm doing a DIY in the middle of the night y'all this ain't nothing but pine pellets up in here ain't nothing up in here but pine pellets so anyway y'all let's see if we can make us a new toilet so what I have to do is see if I can pop this out of here with no problem I don't think once I pop it out I'll be able to get it back in so let me get my hammer. Yeah, that's what happens when you're creative. You are always getting more ideas and a better way to do something than you did it before. I think this is going to Pop that handle out and I don't think it's gonna go back in that good. We'll see. Let me see. Woohoo! Now let's see if this is gonna. Let's hope we didn't do all of this for nothing. Let's hope we didn't do it for nothing. Put this up in here. Let's see if it closes. Ooh, perfect. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know if this will fit on here. That's not going to fit. Down there to put the rim on it. Mm -mm. That is not going to work. But the toilet seat that goes on here, I probably don't even need that thing anymore. I'll just do that when I need to sit on here. That'll give me comfort right there, but I don't need to keep it on here. And now I could probably put my lid on here. I don't know. 
I used to screw my lid on here. I don't think my lid is going to fit on here anymore. But let me try and see if I can. Where is it at? It's behind my mattress. But I'm gonna do a whole revamp on this. So this will be a DIY project that you guys see in the future. So this is just a teaser. I'm not gonna show you everything. This is a teaser and this is gonna be my new toilet, yes. Yes, and it's a seat, a toilet and a seat. Okay, y'all. So, I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. I'm always getting new ideas and I am going to, I am going to revamp this whole thing right here and it's gonna be so pretty and it's gonna be so cute when I get through with it. And it's gonna be everything that I need it to be. So, I'm excited, yes. So let me get ready for bed. Oh. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Happy Saturday. I am headed to go take a shower. Um, today, I am going to go spend the day with a subscriber, Miss Etna. If y'all remember Miss Etna, she went camping with me and she also went um, thrift store shopping with me with her and her daughter. And so I called her and told her I was leaving out of town soon and she wanted to hook up with me before I left out of town. And we're gonna go hang out at do some park today. It's by the water. We're gonna go hang out and do some park today and she gonna be cooking, y'all. I don't know why she feel like she, that woman, she like to cook, y'all. She like to cook like me. And like I asked her, what should I bring? And she was like, don't bring nothing. I feel bad that I'm not bringing nothing. So I might go to the store and get something. I don't know. I don't know what I could get. She cooking fish and shrimp. She cooking some fish and she cooking some shrimp. And she said she got some cucumbers. And she got something to drink. And she bakes. So knowing her, she got something that's baked already. She got a dessert. I don't know what to bring, y'all. What do you bring when you don't know what to bring? What do you bring when you don't know what to bring? That is an interesting one. What do you bring when you don't know what to bring? Uh, okay, y'all, let me ride to this gym. I'm going to take a uh, shower. My window needs cleaning. My window always needs cleaning. 
I want to do a 30 day challenge to clean my window every day for 30 days. I don't need to do no 20 day challenge. I need to do a 30 day challenge. Clean my window every day for 20 days. I need to do a 365 <laughs> day after year challenge. Clean my window for 365 days out of the year. Yeah, after I take my shower, I just be feeling so good, so clean, so refreshed. If you live in the city, make sure you get you a Planet Fitness membership. I don't, and if you stay in one area all the time, it's only $10 a month. But to get you a membership, Oh, this thing broke on my clothes. I got to fix this and put this back on. But anyway, you guys, it is worth paying $24 a month for the gym membership. However, when you're going to be out of town like I am, months because I was out of town for like four months and I didn't use my gym membership that's a hundred dollars right there and I'm probably gonna be out of town and not in the area where I'm gonna be able to use the gym membership for a while so after I leave Houston I'm probably gonna cancel my gym membership Because uh, that's like what three hundred dollars, three hundred and seven dollars a year that you could save if you uh, cancel the membership. So the more money I could save and not waste, you know, if I was using a gym membership that would be fine and dandy but I'm not using the gym when I'm not using the gym membership it don't make no sense to be paying for something you're not using but it's so convenient to have it y'all when you need it though so anyway let me get to the gym Blue in them. 
But I'm getting ready to go meet um, Miss Edna. She just called me and asked me, do I eat oatmeal? Girl, I eat anything. <laughs> Any and these other shades that I got that are yellow, they uh, they see through. I think I'm aware if I can find them. These shades that have uh, blue and yellow in them. Since I got on some blue jeans and a yellow shirt. There we go, girl. We all sit. I'm going to check my mail. My mail closed at 12 o'clock on Saturday and it is 11 something. So hopefully we can get there before 12. So I'll see y'all on down the road. It's not a post office, y'all. I'm gonna do a review on this mail service because it's better than the post office. If you need a P.O. box for any reason, get one with a service like this. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Give me directions to Dusum Park. Getting directions to Alexander Dusum Park. Fifteen. Starting road to Alexander Dusum Park. Proceed to Wilson Road, then turn left. Fifteen minutes away. Uh, are close by the water me and miss Edna and I just got here she got some oatmeal and I don't know what she got going on over here y'all we just chilling like a villain and we got our own little gazebo area I don't know if somebody reserved this or she just looked up 
No propane, no okay. This one is not reservable. It's first come, first serve, I guess. No generators, no alcohol. We got everything we need. I don't know where the, she said it was the electric. Where the electric at? Where's the electric at? I don't see no electric. You want me to get my own bowl? I didn't know I was gonna do, make you work like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gonna say hi to YouTube? I'm, I'm making her work, y'all. <laughs> yes, oh, That's all right. I didn't know I was going to... Look, I didn't know I was going to make you work like that. You, I wasn't... Listen. We was just hanging out. This wasn't supposed to be no working. You want to cook and everything. Yeah, it feels good, too. Oh my goodness. Just eating and made some oatmeal, y'all. I'm about to eat my oatmeal. I'm about to eat my oatmeal, y'all. I might have enough butter in here. I haven't even tasted it. I like to taste stuff. You know how some people mm -hmm. just put, put stuff in stuff before they taste it? They be That's shaking salt on it and stuff. They don't even taste it. And then how you know you need it? Right. So. Tastes good. I don't think I need nothing. Mmm. It's still hot and warm. She put her dog in the little cage because he won't be heck right. Y'all, he done turned this cage over. He keep flipping it. <laughs> but he was way over there by the chair, y'all. Let's see what he do. Oh, oh look, he flipping. He, he done flipped the thing all the way over here. <laughs> I'm trying to see what else he gonna do. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to go check out Miss Etna's uh, travel trailer. <laughs> you didn't make that rhyme, didn't make that rhyme. Okay, you, you, God sent you the van, not the man. I got a camper. And I ain't trying to. Well, <laughs> I ain't got no more. No Y'all, I'm getting ready to go check out Miss Edna's camper. <laughs> she, try, she trying to rhyme, y'all. She, she got a camper, not a napper. <laughs> See y'all, he just want to sit down, not being in that thing, but he don't know how to sit down without being chained up. I bet you he'll be good now. For we have to put him back in the row, row, row your boat. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. <sighs> Y'all, we just sitting out on the water. Probably gonna have to go walk around on the water over there. I'm gonna walk around over by the water. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go check out Miss Itner's home. Well, not her home, her little travel trailer where she stays in when she goes camping. So you want to start and tell us what everything is? Well, is this a DIY? Yes, it is. This is a DIY? Yes. So what inspired you to do this? Uh, getting out to nature. I wanted to get out to nature and see and explore things that 
um, I felt like nature is a calming, the water is calming, and to get to get out there and just do some different things that I've never done before. And I decided to buy this and see how it goes. So how long have you had it? Uh, about two years now. Two years. Have you gotten to go a lot of places? No, not not like I would like to. Uh huh. But I'm I'm gonna get there. Okay. It'll take a little time, but I'll get there. Well, it looks like you did a little, a good job, and it looked like you kind of got some inspirational colors going on here. I see <laughs> yeah, some Vanessa. gray and some black and some yellow. Who would have thought we had the same color scheme? Yeah, <laughs> look, y'all. She got gray. She have black. She got yellow. Mm -hmm. So you built this little thing right here. Yeah, this just a. Um, I just had something to. To, uh, I needed something to, you know, put my little cinches on, put a bowl in here, and um, and I just have my cabinets up under there. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Something just to keep my little stuff in, pots and pans, and put some shelves on it. And, yeah. So show us the little oh, table yeah. behind you. This, this comes up. Oh, let's see, get this. And I put this here because I needed like something to, you know, just to sit on when I just want to read or something like that. I have a light, but. And I, I like the little cup light. holder thing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can put my cups in here and I probably could possibly have somebody sitting in here. But since I'm the only one here, most of my grandkids and they can move around as they go. Yeah. So I got my curtain. This was the. Right. I'm going to just sit right there. Awesome. And this usually comes apart for privacy. Mostly when I'm camping, I use to take this. Take yeah, this like if you want to go to the bathroom yeah, right quick too. Yeah, you could. so I can, I'll take this a little. So you have a rod up here. Yeah. She yeah. got a rod, like a shower curtain rod. Yeah, and I just cut it down and put some weights on it. So it'll weigh it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just tie it back up. When I get ready to be in travel mode. And, um, yeah. So, it's a uh, simple little thing. Man. Back. Uh, who is that? Are we in somebody's spot? Uh, hey, y'all. What y'all up to? Girl, she videoing my camper. Hold on. Give her a few minutes. Who is that? Oh, my girlfriend and her husband. Oh, okay. They they just out here chilling. Uh -huh. So look, she got some fans, y'all. Yeah, I have my fans, and this is a window, but I put this for shade at night. Hey, okay, we, we can pick up to the water. I'm going to walk down to the water. Let's take a chill up here. I want you out in front of her. this vlog my phone would not let me be great it kept telling me my storage was full i deleted footage off the phone and it still kept telling me it was full so i had to pull out another phone and end up filming so y'all gonna kind of see some of the footage again of me doing a tour of miss etna's uh cargo trailer that she camps out in and everything but my phone just wouldn't let me be great, y'all. But I went to the gym. I took a shower. I went met up with Miss Etta, Etna. We was at Dusan Park. And we just chilled and we had a good time and just talked. I also went live over there. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It's short and sweet. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified. If you haven't already, leave a lot of comments down below and let me know what you think about this video. And you can share this video on all your social medias. Your Instagram, your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your, uh all your social medias. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.